What is going on, guys? It's Taylor. And it's your boy, Dre. Welcome back to another review of Invincible. Uh, new episode dropped uh, Friday, so we are uh, going to review it. Actually, this Dre mentioned this is the mid-season finale, is referred to as, because um, the next one's not coming out till next year. <laughs> so we have some weeks off before no Invincible. But um, this was a, a very action-packed, straightforward episode. And I think it may, if it is going to be a mid-season finale, there wasn't really much of a not really much of a cliffhanger, but um, it does open some storylines to be continued to the next one. And um, yeah, I, I, I really liked this episode a lot. I was, I was kind of wondering about it. Really? I, I thought it had some cool moments in terms of um, action, but that was about it. It, it didn't move that much for me. I don't know. It, it was more so, for me, it was more of um, it was clarity and um kind of coming coming together and doing what's right being a hero I guess with, with invincible i wasn't expecting it to, to see the mid-season to be so soon mm -hmm. so kind of like it I, I, I just found like when i look back on it it does feel like everything was kind of building up to that mm -hmm. but i was kind of like i felt like the whole thing was building up to something bigger than this it, it just seems like i don't know we have uh Tony Man, Invincible on the Planet, Thorax, um, Thoraxa. 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 My apologies, Thoraxa. Thorax. Uh, Thorax. <laughs> well, it's Thorax. It's probably because, yeah, because yeah, they're, they're bugs. bugs. Yeah. yeah, so Thoraxa. Um, went there on false, pre uh, uh, false pretenses that there was going to be a, a shower killing um, the planet. You know, there's not, but there really is in a certain way. It's just that Omni Man has disobeyed. Only his his duty because he's supposed to be he's supposed to go go to Earth to conquer it, not um not live there and, and you know forget his mission. But also if he does re uh, reproduce with anybody, it's supposed to be of the same like somewhat same um bio makeup <laughs> as no uh, interspecies breeding that yeah. doesn't look that similar to humans. So yeah. bugs. Yeah, and then he actually had a, a son with the queen there, um whoever it was the queen uh, Thoraxa. Ad Adessa. Adessa. And so the um, the I totally forgot that his uh, his uh, Viltrumites Viltrumites come down and say you know like <laughs> we're going to correct this problem and we're going to destroy everybody and then we're going to kill you uh, Omni Man and uh, Mark is there to help Omni Man fight the Viltrumites and not only does Mark have to come to get come to come to the senses the uh, come to the terms that his father is now kind of remarried and. It had started the family. Moved on, basically. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> and like, started a new family, son. That's right. Me, my new wife, and my new kid. Your brother. <laughs> yeah, your, and your new accepted. brother. And, and uh, let's just go from there. Let's just, yeah. let's just pretend like the past didn't happen, and you know, just, we're just rumored it. Uh. Things happen. You know, we made mistakes, <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this mistake and make a new one somewhere else. Yeah. And it's just more of now he has to, Mark has come to terms that he is now a, a has a, Another family, someone you know, has to accept he has a brother, um, and that he has to save these people because they're innocent, is what Omni Man told him. Like your brother's innocent; he he doesn't know any better, and like doesn't know anything. Like he's, just, he's an innocent boy, um, or, or whatever the species may be, boy. Whatever. He like the rest of the planet, you know, they're they're not guilty of anything. Yeah. So even if you don't care about me, just think all these people will die. And he's like, well, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not on me. Not my problem. <laughs> You know, and, and I like the fact that when Mark went to Omni Man to speak to him at first, he took his mask off. So he's no he's no longer invincible, he's just Mark. He confronts Omni Man, but as Mark, not invincible, as a son, not a superhero, to a father, not a superhero villain, whatever you may want to call, call Omni Man. And, and you were thinking it was some spy or some Well double we thought agent. you know it just you know we it's thought comic nothing. books. <laughs> you thought I was like it was probably okay. just it's probably just on you, man. <laughs> it's okay. Well, I thought, you know, just, okay. So I thought that, well, mostly because it's comic books, and there's always some, <laughs> they could they, they could do anything there. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't think that Donald would be like a cyborg, right? Your favorite character, Donald, who got blown up? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's not proven that he's a cyborg yet. Yeah, but he stabbed, a, <laughs> he, he stabbed a knife into his arm, and the knife crinkled at the end. Yeah. He bled. It's kind of like Terminator, where it's like it's yeah, it's a scale, like uh, it's 
the, the, the jury's still not on that one. Yeah, he, he's something. I mean, he's... I, but we already know, we already knew that you know Donald had blown up in that. Yeah, uh, uh, he had blown up in that door. So you know, it's always something weird. Either he's got he's a clone and brought back to life, mm-hmm. or I mean, we've seen clones. Um, Mueller we see clothes. clones more in this episode. I didn't like their. I, I was hoping that the the scarred Marler would survive at least longer than a couple episodes. Anyway, yeah. um, we saw clones. We saw like revived, uh, zombified robots. So you know it could be anything. Yeah, and we also saw the Damon Dark, Damon Dark, Dark, Dark Cold, Dark Blood. I'm just saying, there's there's perhaps possibilities that could go each way. So we're, we the the jury's still out on it. Don Donald Bot. Yeah, <laughs> every time we need some side story to happen, <laughs> and, a, and we need a villain, you. we need a side story. Let's throw back in laser cannon. Yep, it's, it's always <laughs> that dude always just gets beat up or captured. No, I think he got away this time, right? Yeah, he got away this But he's always just getting like captured. What did he? St- I'm so confused. He stole robots, um, like power cores look like. What I'm saying is, I'm so confused. Did he just walk into their base? And their base is like. Nobody, yeah, you said you saw. Oh, you're the, you're here. No, you're not gone like everybody else. Like everybody's, everybody was gone for whatever reason. Maybe everyone was gone. From, they all took the day there. off or something. <laughs> and they, I mean, and they turned off all the security. Like I'm just so yeah. confused on where it just seemed like he just walked into the base and stole. Yeah, and the power and, supply. And for that reason, he said everyone was gone. So it might just. It just feels like a very candy store. It feels very plot convenient. <laughs> like he didn't break it. Like yeah. he didn't have any security backing up that building too. If she wasn't there, he would just have got away scot free. No one would have noticed. Yeah, three that, hits. And if I remember, happened. his ba- their base is at the top of a freaking uh, la- uh the bridge, right? So mm-hmm. he had to climb all the way up there without being. I mean, just there's just different levels of disbelief. I was like, okay, come on now. <laughs> but yeah, so there, there, there is uh some some holes as far as <laughs> how we got there. How was he yeah, trying to get down and what was his where else was? Um, yeah. So Adam, Adam, Eve was having uh some issues. Hey, issues. She was having some um, similar terms with. Uh, she didn't talk to Mark in a while. Uh, Amber and his roommate said, "Oh, he he pieced off to like go help some people." He's no, gone for a while. I, I thought it was more that she I felt sad. She again always sad, always depression with Adam Eve. Yeah, but it was person. it was more like the last encounter she had with her parents was like superheroes aren't wanted. I thought it, that it was all stemming from that. Yeah. But he, she, he'd also, she, she had also went to Mark for some comfort to talk to somebody. Yeah. And Mark wasn't available, so she's kind of like, well, who am I going to talk to? So, and we've got to kind of see, kind of like uh, Omnium's backstory or new backstory, I guess. This is uh, rebirth where, where story, yeah. Redemption story. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. This for me, this episode didn't do it. For uh, I thought it was a good um, plot building episode, like a kind of, kind of, it's kind of building. To something, I didn't realize this was going to be like the finale of something. So, yeah. um, when it was like, because I actually kind of enjoyed seeing all of the vi- the vulture mites. I, like that. I think that's that. Vulture mites? Hey, have you heard of Vegemite? Yeah, I've yeah. heard Vegemite. Every yeah. time I heard it, and I hear vulture mite, I think yeah, Vegemite, Vegemite in my head. I'm st- it's stuck there. No. Um, it was fun seeing like Superman fighting another Superman, basically. It's like, oh, this is what it would be like. And you could see him go down. And then at some point, and this was kind of bothering me because like it was right. focusing on the fighting. Then at some point it was doing that this, the, that just quick set scene like it shows a punch, then shows the other punch a punch. And yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it like, was a it was a trade off of, of blows. Yeah, just quick trade off blows, and then they kind of went back. I don't know. I just just wasn't like there was parts of it I enjoyed, but this mostly wasn't there for me. <laughs> See, for me, I thought I I honestly thought I'm like oh this is great. we have a lot of fun with this episode. So you, I, I assume you liked the episode. Um, I didn't think it was bad at all. It was just. I mean, I, I, I really thought you you would like it more than you currently do. Like I didn't know you yeah. felt so lowly about this. Like I would give it a B minus. It was just I was expecting more out of it because like here, here's the thing, right? Mark shows up, sees his dad. His daddy's in like a quick rundown, and then these dudes show up, and he's at the fight. It was it just seems so like just missing something. Yeah, know. but this is this was also for me. I saw it as when they're fighting, and like Mark hit his level his his level three on his power meter. But didn't know how to, how to execute the ultra, so Omni Man's like, you gotta like, that was a part where, like the ultra was like, you got to either you had to fight like you're gonna like gonna die because you are gonna die, you you have to kill them, you have to fight like you're gonna try to kill them, not because you're trying to like hurt them or kind of get them away, they're going to kill you. You get, don't forget that they're gonna kill you, they're gonna kill me, everybody here who's already dead. You have to fight like you need to kill them, 
and that's when I clicked in his head when he finally he, he finally started fighting back. Um, I did I did like Omni Man's like slice of the gut of that guy. <laughs> that it seems almost, so easy. <laughs> it's like I mean, how like, do you Jesus, do that? Like that was like I, I mean you never know you never think to do that. But yeah. I mean later on when you see that guy holding his intestines in with his shirt, like, <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Um, you know, it, the violence that really did bother me or like the like, the blood guts whatever just like, what it's just. Um, but to see Mark have to again kind of like literally level up his power and kind of go above like what he's supposed to like no like you think you're at this level but you need you can go far past this and i'm gonna have to push you that's what that was gonna be i thought it was gonna be a train uh a training episode where he where omni man shows mark invincible excuse me what this is the power you you do possess that you don't know you've unlocked you can't unlock yet. I think that's uh, what also bothered me about the episode. It, it made it seem like Mark was gonna stand a fighting chance, and he kind of he barely stood any chance at all. Yeah, because like we've seen in the past where he like loses it, mm-hmm. and like oh this is like what his potential is, but he never got to that point. I don't know. I, I was expecting something different for this. Yeah. I I did uh I did find it. Like I said, I, I did find the whole Viltrumite versus Viltrumite fight funny and fun because like when he when mark was kind of losing his fight <laughs> he threw the other dude at him <laughs> just to you know stall him for a bit and he had like yeah. explain like mark you need to let loose it felt kind of rushed on us like hey now that you're here we're gonna have to fight some vulture mines oh they're already here too late it's just, it just seems like it, it didn't get to a point like it, like a natural progression mm-hmm. like there was a hint like maybe so and this is like getting way too deep into it this is this this my thing but like maybe episode one, they should have showed like you know, Viltrumites were going from planet to planet, and they were just like kind of like killing people. So now we okay, now we get that these Viltrumites on a move, and in episode whatever, it shows Alan the alien, and he bumps into the Viltrumite, and they're trying to, and now now they're questioning him about Mark, mm-hmm. and maybe they, they start questioning about Omni Man. Okay, now you see that the Viltrumites are now looking for both these people, and then you had the next episode where they they, they get Mark's gets grabbed and brought to Thraxa, and then you had this, so you kind of been. They're like pointing towards this. Like this yeah. is all what is this building up to? But for me, it wasn't that like that. It was just like you know, Viltrumites bumped into Allen and he beat him up. But that didn't seem so random because that's what he was built for, and yeah. he just came across him again. Uh, and then two episodes later, like you get the whole um, Thraxa meet his dad thing. And then now, oh hey son, nice to meet you. Uh, you have a brother. I got married. I have a new life. Oh by the way, Virgil Dry is gonna be coming here. And we're gonna battle it out in like five minutes. So you know, get pre- it was just kind of like a just threw it all at once. Yeah. So um, I think that's where I went with it. Like the the plot of the episode was fine, and the action was very, very exciting. But it was just overall what they were heading towards, or what they hidden at, and what they're heading towards is not where they were in the end of the day. It just seemed like a thrown together kind of thing. But yeah, so I had a lot of fun. And uh, let us know what you think about in the comments below what you think of the show, uh, the episode, how the mid-season finale uh, went, these last four episodes, and the next four episodes, what you think is going to happen. Um, don't forget to also check us out every day here on the website, on uh, youtube.com slash Discord website. At, four, at 5 a.m., excuse my apologies, we have new videos going up. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have uh, reviews, pop culture talk, uh, gameplay, what have you. Tuesday, Thursday, we're rocking some trailers with some reviews and reactions and predictions. Also, every Wednesday at 4 a.m., we have our podcast. Dre, you want to talk about our podcast? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and check out our podcast. This was your idea. This is a, a show where we trade off being the host, uh, coming up with like, some cool concepts to talk about and going. Re- it's kind of like what we do here. All those tangents, we kind of really do deep dive into those tangents. And uh, we do that every Wednesday. And yeah, when we're not doing this, apparently. <laughs> yep. Uh, on and on those final notes, uh, we'll see you later. Later. Peace. <laughs>